mysterious plumber in Desperate Housewives, one of the most popular shows on TV. It airs Sundays on ABC. Please welcome James Denton. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Well, now... <laughs> now you're... So, <laughs> who knew fat was so hot? Yeah. Hey, there you go. Who knew plumbers were so <laughs> hot? I'll just sit like this. It's all right. We'll be right here. Yeah, uh, sure. Now, now you're James. Didn't you used to be Jamie? Uh, yeah, I've been Jamie my whole life. My, James is my real name, but okay. I'm, I'm a junior, so I got Jamie as a kid. And the last show I did on ABC, they felt like I was a little old for Jamie, so we went with James. And now there's no turning back, so I'm James now. So but it's my real name. Okay, so did they call you in? Like she got called in for being fat? Sort of. I kind of got called in when we did the shirt off scene with Nicolette in the car wash. I would like to call you in the, for that too. <laughs> <laughs> but I got, a, I got a little bit of that too. Like, you know, you might want to lay off of the, uh, the cheeseburgers. Are you kidding no, me? Really? Yeah. You have an amazing body. Well, thank you. <laughs> Now, so I know yeah, you're, it's just the nature of the business. Yeah. Now, I know yeah. you're, you're, you're big, uh, well, you're married, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. Man. Are you happily married? Yeah, yeah. very happy. Yeah. yeah, but thank you. But isn't your yeah. wife pregnant? She is. We're having a baby in March. Well, then she's out of commission. It. Yeah, there you go. Wow. There no, you she, go. Uh, Maybe she could fill it like a, you know, I have the surrogate wife. Maybe you could surrogate be the surrogate lover. surrogate lover while your wife is relaxing and taking it easy. Well, Kirsty could is your wife in the audience? Theory. Let's she, ask her. She's not here. No, I wish okay. she were. I'm sure she wishes she were, too. But, yeah, we've got a two-year-old boy, and we're having a baby in March, and we're really lucky, man. Just <laughs> luckiest guy in town. I just want you to squirm. It's so much fun. I know. Well, I, like I, I want to go sit over there and let you guys talk. <laughs> no, 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 no. I know you're a big football fan, right? So who'd you have? Who'd you have yesterday? Uh, yeah, I actually had uh, the Patriots. But, uh, oh, well, yeah, I did. Yeah. Right. So, uh, yeah, I'm a big Colts fan, so our, our season ended early. Okay. Um, now, have you ever met uh, Peyton Manning? Have you ever met him? You know, um, funny enough, uh, I went up for the game when he broke the record against the Chargers. Okay. And, uh, and the, he was in a restaurant down the street, I was told, and I ran down to, like, kind of peek through the window and get a glimpse of him. I'm a big fan. We both went to UT. Okay. And, um, and so it was packed. I didn't think I'd get near him. And, and we went in just to have a beer and sort of watch him react with fans. And he looked across the room, and he goes, I look behind me, and my brother's like, dude, he's looking at you. And so we made our way across the room, and, I, and I, when I got there, I was so sure he was going to think I was somebody else and say, oh, I'm, I, I'm sorry. And he puts his arm around my head and goes, my wife's in love with you, man, and we love your show. What are you doing here? Oh. I know, and I, I was just like this. <laughs> you know, I almost, I almost wet my pants. Um, and it was, the day, it was the day he broke the record and everything, so it was, uh, it was a real thrill. Oh, that's thrill. very cool. And, and, and it's nice when you have sort of a, a sports hero and he turns out to be a good guy. Now, were you a jock guy when you were younger? Were you a sports guy? Uh, you know, compared to other things, I certainly wasn't a brain or really that much of a geek. So of, of the groups, I probably was. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I went to junior college on a basketball scholarship, oh, but I was scholar. not that. Well, That's but Juco is a lot different, and I stayed hurt, and I was too short and too slow, and ended up going to Tennessee and finishing up. You know? Oh, okay. Uh, all right. Yeah. So how do you go from acting, from basketball scholarship? Where did that come in? Um, I started doing community theater just for fun okay. and, uh, and to avoid work. I started acting, um, <laughs> but, uh, and got really lucky. Went to Chicago and did a lot of theater, lived on commercials and stuff like that. Um, and this one thing led to another, and I was really fortunate um, to, to make a buck. Because, you know, we, we always try to find things to degrade and humiliate our guests when they come on. I would expect and, nothing and less. I, and, you, and you played, was it Curly in Oklahoma? It's, number, there is a rumor. Do we have that picture? Where I'm are we sure are? you do. <laughs> You know, that looks like a picture in a milk carton in West Hollywood, doesn't it? It does. And <laughs> cute. cute is not the word that leaps to mind, but I'll, I'll, take, I'll take cute. I like the bangs. Um, Look at the bangs. How, the bangs are great, aren't yeah, they? Yeah. Wow. Just wonderful. At least you don't have any footage of that, of any Surrey with the fringe on top. Well, no, not yet we don't, but we will have that. I could give you a little So how did, how did you land that role? Tell me about that. Oh, no, it was a silly thing. It was community theater, and somebody saw me actually singing in the church choir and asked me to do it, and one thing led to another. I did four or five community theater shows and without having to audition. So you were picked out of thing. the church choir? I was picked out of the church choir. Yeah. Oh, wow. And I'm yeah. hitting on you? Wow. Yeah, that's okay. When your wife is pregnant, that is like blasphemous. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm going to... Now tell us about here. Desperate Housewives. Now you have, you have a thing going on with Terry Hatch. Sure. Yeah, it's a pretty good gig. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, How does that go over? The wife's pregnant, sitting at home, sitting, eating chocolate, and you're making out with 
Sorry, well, my, that my, my, my wife, she has her MFA from NYU, and she's right. a brilliant actress. She's a heck of a lot better than I am. Right. And she, she quit to become a personal trainer. So because she has the background, she knows the drill. So there's none of that weirdness. She knows what it's like to go to work and make out with people, and it mean nothing. Right. But, <laughs> but I was also... Wait, 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 wait. she's like, a personal trainer. What makes you know what it's like? A training, no, you? just because she was on soaps in New York. Oh, I see. Yeah, she's, she's got... The, yeah. I see. Yeah. So when you kiss her... She doesn't work at Crunch, When you, though, when when you kiss Terry Hatcher, and I think TV Guy called the kiss... One of the greatest kisses in TV history. Number, se number seven. Number seven. Number seven in so TV history. So does your wife say, that? couldn't you have been number nine or number 12? Yeah, it was probably I mean, too high on the like, list for I mean, her. The, yeah. yeah that right? was a really great day, though. That, that's one of my favorite stories on Desperate Housewives. Yeah, yeah in more ways than one. Yeah. But it was the first time that Terry and I had kissed, and I was really worried about the chemistry because, you know, right. if we don't get along, I, you know, it ain't called Desperate Plumber. I, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, uh, so anyway, yeah. Um, you got to make sure it's a good kiss. Uh, exactly. Yeah, and yeah. she was really weird. And Terry's so sweet. And, uh, and she was just kind of sitting there and not saying much. And I knew, okay, she's a little nervous. That's cool. But then we're kissing. And she just seemed almost in pain. Like she just hated kissing me. And, and it's not I know what that's like. Oh, yeah. Well. yeah. <laughs> I doubt it. But uh, so anyway, I was really kind of getting nervous and thinking, well, this is my last day on Desperate Housewives, and say goodbye to the crew. <laughs> and then I found out she had a broken rib. She had broken a rib, and I think she told you the story, when she fell into the wedding oh, cake, okay. and they shot it that afternoon. Yeah. And she's such a trooper, she didn't tell anybody. And I was really selfishly thrilled to find out she had a broken rib. <laughs> <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm still on the show. And uh, do many men watch the show? It does huge with women, but how does it do with, with, with the male? I, I've heard about 40% of the audience is guys, and it doesn't really surprise me. I yeah. mean, it's not just beautiful women, but I think people will watch anything funny. And, yeah. and the show is so is brilliantly funny. written. It's and very I, funny. Yeah, and I think you, can, you know those people. I think men are either married to them, or it's their sister, or their mom, or everybody has the same problem. And the guys, I mean, the guys in the show are just as screwed up as the women. I mean, yeah. the men are just as desperate. Or, they, re they really are. If you think about all the characters, and so, are so there any not... fat men on the show? No. No. <laughs> no. There's a lot of beautiful women. Yeah. There and are then there's you, and you're women. gorgeous, and so I think that she's yeah, nice. I she think just no. plays hard to get. Doesn't she? That's she's why I had to go to a different network to do a fat show. Yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, looking great. And any quick things gonna can, can you give us some information about your characters quickly? Wow, we've only got a new episode uh, this week. Mike gets in some real trouble. Uh, he's get, getting a lot darker, a lot more dangerous. It yeah. causes more problems with uh, oh. with Terry Hatcher. And then, of course, Nicolette Sheridan in real life and on the show doesn't go quietly. <laughs> yeah. So she's back in the triangle, and it's it's pretty cool stuff next week. Well, James, pleasure to meet Thanks you. Thanks for having and me. Congratulations really, on the new baby. Really James, then be right back with Anna Nutrebko right after this. Anna Nutrebko right after this. Thank <laughs> you.